Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to go through a pretty common problem, how to delete locked or undeletable files or folders. For example, it's probably what brought you here. You're getting an error message, something like this, trying to delete a file. Let's just make sure before we get started, we're going to cover the basics here. Let's make sure you know you should be deleting the file. Oftentimes, often, when a file is locked, it's because it's in use. So that's why you can't delete it, because something's actually using it. So the first thing you want to do is reboot and see if you can delete it. While you're at it, you might as well hold or tap down the F8 key or look for this link right here for other ways to boot into safe mode. And I'll provide a link up here with the I or in the video description so you can follow along with any of these links at home. If you boot into safe mode, a lot of times a file that is being used can now be deleted because safe mode boots Windows in a minimum state. It works a lot of times. It's a real simple way to do it. Another thing you could consider is deleting from the command prompt. Now, you got to be careful with this because there's no way out. Let me show you. Once you delete the file, it's gone. So, for example, in my C drive, I have Chrome set up. So, we're going to delete that. Let's do PowerShell or command prompt as admin. CMD will do command prompt. Open, run as administrator. I like the Windows key plus X. Windows PowerShell as admin. And for a real brief primer here, if you want to play around with the command prompt, you need to know how to navigate your drive. So let me show you. So the first thing you want to do is just do a CD backslash. As you can see, that brings you to your C drive here. So if you do DIR, amongst other things, there's your Chrome setup. But if you know the files, let's say buried away in pictures, you got to kind of figure it out. So there's users. So you do a CD space users. I don't want to spend too much time, just a primer. And then you can do DIR again. There I am, Major Geeks. DIR again. And there's your favorites, pictures, videos, etc. Just to give you a basic primer on moving around in PowerShell. But what we want to do is we want to delete the file Chrome setup.exe right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do DEL. You can do that, as you can see, from anywhere, as long as you know what you're typing. Space, C colon backslash, C-H-R-O-M-E, setup.exe. And you make mistakes when you're typing sometimes. It can be a little difficult. I've made plenty of mistakes typing away. So there you go, DEL, direct file to the path. So again, you might need to know C, users, your username, documents, for example. Let's go ahead and delete it. Press enter and you're going to see nothing. If it's not there, there's a problem. You'll see something in red. For example, there you go. Blah does not exist. Now let's look. See it's gone. And as I mentioned, my recycle bin is empty. So be very careful when you're playing with the PowerShell or command prompt. Once it's gone, it's gone. All right. One of my more personal favorites unlocker now one of the problems on lockers you see I link here to the portable version and the reason for that is as popular as it is you can see there's not a ton of downloads but it's getting there here's the installer version which is always very popular as you can see but it will try and install the Delta toolbar I'd like to see you avoid that hence we added the portable by portable that just means you extract it to a directory somewhere and you run it and here's the beauty of it I'm not gonna to waste too much time it's really easy to use but if you get to this page look what we got here how do you use unlocker portable follow that video and let us help you out step by step it's very easy to do let me show you again real quick there you go so what you're looking to do is you find a file you want to delete click unlock click kill process if it doesn't work if you highlight multiples, click unlock all, and you could try and delete the file all right here. This is the way to do it right here. That should fix your problem. Now, we kind of covered everything. You should be able to have that file deleted by now. And I will mention again, there's a link here, and that lets you sort file managers by popularity. So there's unlocker, there's IOBIN unlocker, and you got to keep scrolling to find them. I have it listed for you by default by popularity. As you can see, you've got to dig around a little bit past the two popular ones. So at least in my opinion, here's another one, Pocket Killbox. That's a really good one. But as you can see, 
popularity wise everybody's sticking to unlocker or iobit unlocker right wrong or indifferent that's what people are using there you go finally what if there's a problem with your drive maybe the file is damaged and that's why you can't delete it you might want to do a check disk so it's really easy to do right here so once again you'll open PowerShell or the command prompt you'll type in this right here you can type it or copy and paste it it'll ask you this right here you may get a different prompt but either way you press yes and when you do it'll start doing the scan and reboot for you so there you have it but again depending on your skill level try to reboot first it's really easy and boot into safe mode again tap your f8 and the command prompt is a little more for advanced users but that said if i had to make a choice i'd jump right down here get unlock your portable and off you go and there you have it bottom right hand corner major geeks logo pops up you can click subscribe there if you like and give us a like if you at least we helped you out that'd be great and we appreciate you watching as always see ya